<clears throat> yeah, so ideally, let's just see how she books. By the way, just <clears throat> got screwed up trading the micros around here, so already accumulated a loss, right? So, right now, would say I'm pretty much re just fixing my mistakes. Some reason this one does not want to pull the trigger. So it's a problem right there. But ideally, I'm trying to see low prices. Mm. I'm not even ambitious like that today, right? <laughs> Already got chopped up within this price action right here, so. Just targeting my low hanging fruit. Low. Fruit. That's ideally in the target, right? Right there. Yeah. Not being too ambitious. Entry is pretty simple. So. It's PDA right here. Yeah. From the thing Q1, right? In this case, I'm not using any time-based PDA, so the aggression is slightly way, way off. Mm, so let's see. Would I really like to see price close? Let me even place it just above here to give it enough room to breathe because we also need to consider consider these two PD arrays right here. What I mean by that is ideally <clears throat> how I personally approach price is that when we have two executive fair value gaps, right? Like this, I just combine them into one PD array, right? And whatever I do. I was to use them to go short exactly right there I would ideally place my stop right here or even above right just so price can hover around because even where my stop is right now would it's pretty much the, not the most ideal it's just that I'm being a bit more aggressive right but I did the two PDRAs so I'm making them into one all right so so yeah. Don't know why this thing does not wanna fucking trade. <clears throat> Let me just see what's over there. Let's just very close attention to this quadrants right here. I want to project this to this range. So right now we're within Q2. So ideal main concern is this PDRA right here. I want to see price rebalance that and maybe like ideally use it for lower prices. All right, so. That is ideally permissible, right? As long as we're within Q2, right? This favorability gap is ideally going to support higher prices. So potentially when we reach Q3, I want to see at least that whole entire range force it to be supporting lower prices, right? Even if that happens right now within this range, it's still fine. It's actually what I would ideally prefer, right? But yeah. And when I've already have an idea of seeing lower prices, but price just begins to range like this, I identify that as time distortion. Time distortion. Right, so that's basically what that is. No, so I want to see. Pierce through now we are risk free. 
you know so i think i'm gonna manually close it when it reaches there let's be a bit more aggressive with the stop just one contract by the way nothing crazy and by the way this is just to soothe my conscience <laughs> I actually quite lost three handles within this three contracts i mean within this choppy price action so one it's pretty much rebalancing everything but yeah just reading price for what it is mm. Okay, right now we are within Q3, so ideally this PDRA holds no value for me, right? Most important thing is this right here. This wick. So if I divide that range into half like, like, let me just set this. Do this, just to make it way faster. Divide this wick in half, right? You get the mean. The consequence encroachment that's what i want to see price respect right there and as you can see so i'm going to place my stop just above that price wick because i don't want to see price going back there all right so now let's just see how price books Yeah. Let me close this. Get back to the video. Ideally, now since my drone liquidity is this low hanging fruit, if I had any more contracts above at least one contract, right? Or one unit, I would be ideally taking partials. And how I approach that is Divide this range from here to here in half, right? And then your take profit should be at the at least 75% of the whole ideal range. So let's make it 25. And then reduce the background colors like this. Yeah, right there. So right here. Ideally, I'd maybe like be cutting 50% of the trade because we're now within an extreme discount, right? Very, very extreme. So anything could happen. If I get stopped out within this price range right here, it's, it's fine. It's fine, you know, but yeah. So right here, we'll take 50% of the position off, especially just after accumulating or especially when I'm trying to rectify mistakes that i've already done pre right consequence of consequent encroachment of this wick i don't want to see price draw back to that so i'm gonna place it right here if i get stopped out it's fine and the reason why i'm using this specific price range right here is because nothing within this range besides this poa right here which is most definitely time based is supporting lower prices so this is the only thing that's current resistance for higher prices so if price could reverse this would be ideally the narrative behind that right i want to see this i want to see price close below this range just right below it then support lower prices but for now this is initially supporting higher prices right and what price does is when it's reacting, creating this lows and this lows right here, right? <clears throat> so based on previous time ranges or time-based PDRAs, right? Meaning nothing within this range right here. As long as we're within this range, it's supporting low prices. Hence, we just got stopped out right there, right? Nothing within this range right here is supporting lower prices, nothing within this range is supporting lower prices what would ideally be would be this right here 
I use this whole entire range as a PDRA. So ideally, we can use that whole quarter range as a supporting feather for lower price as long as we're within Q3. But yeah, for now, I think I'm actually done for the day. For the ones who think this is some Photoshop type thing. Um, these are the trades yeah yeah but but yeah besides that hope everybody stays safe and also this is the profile that i'm using right so this is yeah same thing every day you know but yeah Hope everybody has a good day and yeah, stay safe.